Here's some tips and tricks for your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. I'm going to show you fast, simple, and accurate ways to locate the x-intercepts, which are also called the zeros or roots of a quadratic. Let's look at the first example. y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Enter the expression y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Enter and graph. Now press second, that activates the blue commands over the keys, and calc, it's over the trace key. Select zero from the menu, and that puts your cursor on the graph. Now let's find the x-intercepts. It looks like the left intercept is close to negative two. Let's give the calculator some boundaries to help find the precise value. In this case, let's use negative three for the left boundary and negative one for the right boundary. Make a guess close to where you think the zero is. In this case, negative two. Press enter, and there it is. The left x-intercept is negative two. Now, use the same process to find the other zero. Second, calc, select zero from the menu, and that puts your cursor on the graph. Now, let's find the x-intercept. Let's set our boundaries at one and five, and let's make a guess of four. There it is. The second zero is at x equals four. All right, the roots are negative two and four. Let's look at another example. I'll go through it a little faster this time. First, press y equals, and then clear out the first equation. Okay, let's do it. Enter the equation. Now, find the x-intercepts, aka zeros or roots. It looks like there's only one. Set your boundaries. Now, enter your guess. So in this case, the root is x equals 1.5. Great job. Now you know a fast and easy way to find the roots of a quadratic. The tips and tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. Be sure to check out the rest of the tips and tricks for test success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.